What date is it? It's Monday, the 27th of March, 2017. And today is another special day. The actual builders have come in and they've started full on working, ripping stuff out. Um, putting the showers in, putting the changing rooms in, We've got a full team in there and I think it's everything's on schedule and we should be fine to be open within the next three or four weeks on the date what we've got scheduled. So come inside with me. So there was cars being sold here before and that business is now closed. The last few cars are behind me just for sale. Um, so I'll show you inside here. This is going to be the disabled changing, um, get it all fully fitted out, it's making a mess. Male toilet, that's staying the same. There it is, it's going in there. <laughs> Great ringtone. So, this room is going to be the male. This room is going to be the male showers, um, changing rooms area, so that's getting done. So that's where we are today. We've opted for full um, immersion heater as well to get everyone, everyone, everybody hot water. Anyway, let's use for coffee. For coffee? I've got tea. Chris, for coffee? For coffee, yeah? <laughs> For coffee? No. <laughs> For coffee? Not my days. That was hard work. I'm actually out of breath. So we're just moving Ian out of the office so we can actually put the changing rooms in there. That's going to be the uh, female changing room. Jordan, Luke. Thanks for your help, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're connected to the internet, but it's not working. You're not, well, you're definitely not, not, you're definitely not a BT engineer. Well, you won't wait until the job's finished. <laughs> That's to do its stuff. Is the blue box plugged in and all that, yeah? The black box? Yeah, everything's plugged in. Is it? A refresh. There we go, we've got power. We so we've been really held back on uh, a lot of the bits of the project by the bank not opening quick enough and asking all kinds of stupid questions over and over and over and over and over and over again <clears throat> to the point where we're now behind schedule on buying a few things um, setting up payment gateways and all the stuff like that that's necessary for the business so just heading home to see if the bank has finally sent the card if so we can move on from there 
problem solved. Now it's time to open the bank account. I mean, start using the bank account. And as I come back, it looks like there's been a delivery. Let's go and see what it is. Shower Oh yes. There we go. Shower trays delivered. People drop stuff in, you go only get in them. Oh yeah. And the plastic ones are goes out too. Sorry. I can do it. Here's the exercise, don't you? You got gains. Here's the exercise, don't you? Let's see you. Oh, yeah, look at that. You see where you lift it, that, don't you? Good technique, that. Manual handling that out of France. Don't actually listen to me, that wrong. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I just pretend, pretend I'm strong. Bank account. Paperwork. Got. Drink. Got. And I've got a phone call to do now with uh, a guy who is. Um, going to be hopefully supplying food um, uh, basically one of the things is I want to be able to get food uh, it does meal prep food and also food for um, mm. all that in here so he's going to be doing food for the gym so it's Chris hello mate how are you You've been smashing it. You've been smashing it, I've seen. The reason I say I want to I wanted to touch base with you was is because of the the non the non bro approach, do you know what I mean? So you're doing um you've got macros and all the meals, um Yeah, I feel like it's just, um, you could put a plan together for people to take away a plan. You could put in a way, they can take it away individual meals and they can just add, add that into their daily macros because we'll be teaching people how to track calories and macros here anyway. <laughs> So let me talk to you. Let me talk to you about that as well. Um, I, I don't know if you've seen all the websites I've done of recent on social media. I know you've been busy, but so part of what we do is one of my um, uh, uh, what would you call it? Members of the team does websites. So you end up you end up paying rather than ten grand for the website, you end up paying like fifty quid a month, and it it works out ridiculously cheaper. He does everything. He breaks down like he'll sit there and do search engine optimization with you um he'll he'll do it all for you and he'll make it for 50 pound a month and you have to do nothing and he'll he'll do the images he'll do the pictures he'll do the the, the hosting for it he'll do your email set your email up like it's like a tech a tech guy in the background if you did want to Yeah, well, five k, five thousand pound. If you go, if you go five thousand as, as a cost, and the, normally what he'll charge is about fifty quid for a website like yours. If you wanted to go into detail where they can order in terms of like selection process, it might be more. But if it's just like they order how you are now, where it's just a menu, and it's like a ni nice, pretty website, and you have got all your social media plugins and stuff like that. If you go fifty quid a month, and you times that by. Um, 12 months and then times up by three years that's 1800 quid right and that's like his kind of contract he says right it's gonna be three it's gonna be three years and we'll look after the website for you we'll do everything for you so he makes 1800 quid in the long long term and for an entrepreneur on entre for an entrepreneur it's absolutely ridiculous because you're not paying five to ten grand Hi Marcus, I uh, thought I'd just send a voice message um, on that one so I can explain properly. Um, Enzo from O Naturel, I've just put you in contact with. He's going to be supplying the gym with meal prep food, which is macro tracked and going to really help our clients and stuff like that. So we want to kind of look after him on the website side of things. Um, he's got a website at present and obviously as the current situation with web design is, in the UK, it's absolute bullshit because the web designer has got like messing him around by the sounds of it. Obviously, I don't know the full story, but from everybody else I've sent you over last week, um, they are the same. So we spoke about potentially 50 quid a month to help him out there. Um, and obviously, if it needs, uh, the other thing you wanted to do was potentially have a click button where they can select the meals 
uh, and make an order automatically so you don't have to talk to the customers. Obviously I, I said that, you, you, for example with Empowered by Eating you charge us a little bit more per month um, so you might be able to charge him, um, you might have to charge him a little bit more to, to set that up. But for now it sounds like he just needs a website, that's nice. Um, I haven't looked at his website um, yet, I'm going to look at it in a minute because I need to look at the menu. Um, but that's basically the story. Um, he's um, uh, uh, obviously empowered fit website needs to come first, but if you can like kind of push him to the front of the queue because he's he's a mate as well. So um, I hope that's fine. If you need to know anything, let me know. But I'll let you guys discuss here. <laughs>and